What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we have succeeded. Yes. We got ourselves our second badge. I thought it was going to be a little tougher, but still, it was something. And uh, no, we don't want to see that. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so we need to get our little pointer out. Okay, there we go. Pointer. And look at this. Two glimmering, pretty awesome badges. Yes, sir. Okay, so the next step to this whole thing is we're going to be going into the Team Galactic hideout now that we are enabled to use, um, yeah, the cut technique. So, let's go right ahead and move on ahead. Now, this guy right here is just going to be looking. He's like, hey, you, you, yeah, you trainer. Never mind, he doesn't want to take on us. And, well, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making sure we cut this little tree right here. And, bam. Alrighty, our Lord and Savior will be cutting. Now, before we do anything, guys, uh, we can go in the backside right here and grab ourselves a hidden item. So, let's go right ahead and do that. Speed that through. And, let's see, you can't go there, but... You can go right here, and you will find yourself the TM46 cut or thief, which is a very good, uh, very good dark type move if you want to steal some like items and all that stuff. So let's go straight into the Team Galactic hideout. And as you guys can see, this guy is going to be looking at us. He's going to be like, "Hello, it is me, me. <laughs> have I, I have started you? Yes, I am. After all, an officer of the International Police." It's only natural that I I be the master of disguise. Oh, look at this. Incidentally, you are the first-rate trainer. Of that, I am very aware. I therefore think you will be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building it has two stairs. One of them, a trap, it must be. But the crooks of Team Galactic, they do not appear... Uh, they do not appear, how shall I say, to be smart. There should be an easy way to tell uh, the stairs apart. And, well, I don't know what kind of stairs he's talking about, but I think he's talking about that. So, it looks like we're going to be going in double battles right here. And this guy right here is going to be like, We are acquiring Pokemon for a most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. And this other person's looking at me all cockeyed and stuff. He's like, So sorry, sweetie. Team Galactic has no room for kitties. Kitties or kitties? Okay, all right. So we're going to be double battling against these Team Galactic Grunts. And they both will have uh, Zubats. So, yeah, we got to switch out our Pokemon right here. Not on Poseidon's uh, not on Poseidon's turn. So we're going to hit one. And we need to get Electro Star right here. So switching them out. That's right. We're intimidating everybody. And just like that, Rosemon grows to level 19. And here comes a wing attack. Not so effective. So, we're going to be hitting the bubbly beam onto this guy and go with a spark onto that guy and BAM! And Electro Star, level 17, kicking some butt, taking some names, and just like that, we win. That's right, throwing out that peace sign, and well, he's coming out with Stunky. God, I hate this Pokemon. Hate it with a god dang passion. Okay, so here we go, same thing, and just like that, Poseidon grows to level 23, and we are victorious. How's it feel to fail? So he's like, I feel like I got meddled with. B but Deary, you're just a kid. Yes, I know, I'm just a kid, but I'm a very, very strong kid. And, oh, wow. <laughs> well, it looks like it worked. So here we have Rosemon evolving. So two things need to happen, guys. Maximum happiness, and it has to be daytime. The other thing, too, guys, is that I said in the last episode, I recaptured the Pokemon I captured with different Pokeballs. This includes Rosemon itself. Cut it at level 3, gave it the Soothe Bell, put it in front of my uh, my crew, in front of my, uh, my well, my, my team at first. That way it can gain a little bit of extra happiness, especially battling and all that stuff. And, well, it looks like, uh, it, looks like it evolved quickly. Huh. Okay, so, as you guys can see, Rosemon wants to learn Magical Leaf. So, let's go right ahead and give, uh, give it a new move right here. So, as many of you guys already know, this move right here, it does not miss. It does not miss not one bit, and well, it looks like to me, we're gonna have to go with Mega Drain because, well, more HP and, le and no, and well, better accuracy and all that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and check this whole place out, see what this is all about, and uh, well, I want to go onto the other section right there because I, I kind of feel like we're gonna be battling. We're gonna be battling this dude pretty cool, and uh, well, let's see. Uh, Team Galactic is working hard to find new energy sources for the future. 
Yeah, he doesn't want to battle me. Holy crap. Okay, so never mind. Let's go right here. And uh, this guy, yes, our objectives are incredible, too incredible to be understood. I'll fight, or I'll fight blindly to defend him, and your intrusion will be forgiven. Never mind. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start battling. And this guy has some pretty cool Pokemon right here. So here we go. Peg attack for the win, and just like that, we win. How's it feel to fail? So we're grabbing the next speed, and it turns out that the other, the other section right, or the other uh, stairway is actually the right stairway. So we're gonna be going into, we're gonna be going into this area right here. And uh, yeah, if I can like only control this thing, and well. Let's see, right here, and let's go ahead and talk to this person, and of course, she's going to be talking about a Pokemon she stole. Alrighty. So, here we go, taking on a Team Galactic Grunt, coming out with a Glam Meow. One theory. I think any kind of Pokemon who is a cat should be weak against Water-type Pokemon. That's just me. I don't know. Kind of, kind of, kind of like just looking at pussy cats and stuff. And well, conducting new research to form new energies. We want to harness the mysterious power of Pokemon that uses it as an energy. Okay, never mind. So these guys are talking about a lot of energy. Kind of like you young folks saying energy for everything. Keep that same energy or something like that. I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and move on into this other area. And uh, well, let's see what, what, what. Okay, she will battle us. And yes, I am trying to battle everybody. Why, thank you! We love it when people come uh, come to us to donate their Pokemon. Okay, so why would I donate my Pokemon? I'm just saying. Okay, so here we are, taking on the Team Galactic Grunt, and she is coming out with a Stunky. Alright, let's go, Stunky. Time to feel the, the bubbles right there, and here comes a Crow Gunk. So let's go with Starblade. As many of you guys already know, in the last episode, Starblade was the MVP, and look at that, grows to level 22. Here comes Glammeow, so let's go ahead and start using Rosemon. And Rosemon going in for a good old magical leaf, and just like that, bam, we win. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. And let's go ahead and find ourselves some more trainers to defeat, be victorious and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and, well... It's kind of like magical chairs right here, and ordinary people, like, you can't understand Team Galactic's grand designs. Come to think of it, I don't even know what, what's going on. So, why are you in Team Galactic? I... Yeah, okay, never mind. So, first is first, we gotta get those Pokeballs. Let's go right here, and have this guy look at us all cockeyed and everything, and... Our mission is to implement our operations without question. It is for all the New World Order that our bosses lead, will lead. Hmm. Okay, the New World Order, you know, NWO, and here we go again, and just like that, we have defeated this guy, and what are we learning? Wait, 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 what, what are we learning? Oh, Bite Attack. Yeah, that's not going to be a move that we want. Uh, I know that Bite Attack is a pretty strong move, but it don't, it's, you know, we don't know how many times we're going to get hit. That's kind of the messed up part, and here we found ourselves a Blue Shard, always nice, and this one, a Revive. The first of its kind right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. Because we see a bald dude fighting with a pink-haired lady. I wonder what that's all about. Now, before we do anything, let's go ahead and give a super potion to our good old buddy Poseidon right here. Okay, so, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure she has a glam meow or some kind of messed up Pokemon. What is it with this Team Galactic? Why did they take our Pokemon? What are they uh, trying to accomplish? I don't even know. Now, before I battle her, I want to get this. Yes. Here we have an upgrade, which many of you guys already know. If you have a Porygon, give it that, and then bam, you will leave all the end. Ugh, did you just want something? How silly of me to even ask. You want to free the Pokemon. Fine. I, Jupiter, will deal with you. Alrighty. Let's go. Bring it. Mm, 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 mm. Commander Jupiter wants the battle, and well, she's gonna be coming out with her level 21 J uh, Zubat, so let's go right ahead. Let's go with the Bubble Beam. Gotta fear the bubbles right here. And there we go. Bubble Beam. Oh, almost defeats this guy, and here comes a Giga Drain! Oh, crap, baskets. Okay. So let's go with a Bubble Beam. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with that. And well, here comes a Skun Tank. 
This Pokemon I hate with a bloody passion. So let's go right ahead and go with this guy right here, Electro Ball or Electro Star. And we're gonna charge up. There we go. And let's go with a Spark Attack. And here comes a Night Slash. This is probably gonna mess us up. And yes, it does. <laughs> Ugh, I hate this Pokemon. All right, let's go with the big guns. Bubble Bum. There we go. Bubble Beam. Damn it. Bubble Beam. Come on, Bubble Beam. Finish him. Finish him. There we go. We almost defeat this guy, but it looks like to me it's gonna it's gonna heal up. So let's go right ahead and do that. And here comes a Night Slash. Finish it. Bubbly Beam for the win. Suck it, Skunk Tank. And just like that, Poseidon grows to level 25. Commander Jupiter's not liking this. Losing to some kid? Being careless cost, it cost me too much. Yes, it did. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Mars, Mars has collected energy from the Valley Windworks. We're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will become the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. There is your last warning. Man, she is mean. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. Their logic, their logic baffles me still. It's like they're from space. Anyways, they're gone now. Thank you very much. I can't thank you enough na right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? So, we did a favor, and I guess we're going to get rewarded, which is always good, guys, because, well... Rewards are always nice. And, well, let's see, let's see. What else do we have to do here? I don't, I don't think we have to do anything else. I think we've completed everything. And, uh, well, let's see. I think I, I, I kind of feel like a battle is coming. I just, oh, God, I really do feel it. Oh, God, I hate, I hate that dude, seriously. Okay, so here we are outside of Eterna, uh, the Eterna, well, the Team Galactic uh, place, and... You know, after completing that, all we need to do now is go in straight to the cycle shop. And before anything happens, mm, 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 mm. our girlfriend Cynthia's here is like, oh, well, there you are. I was looking for you. I've got something nice. I wanted to have you, uh, I want you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Yes, I will. Oh, crap, baskets. Yeah, we don't have space for a, uh, yeah, we don't have space for that. So let's go ahead and grab, oh, wait. Don't leave without this Pokemon egg. You just, if I want you to have it. Oh crap, baskets. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. I gotta, yeah, I gotta go replace the Pokemon. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back, and well, here it is. Well, yes, I am gonna accept this Pokemon egg. Thank you. That's wonderful. The Pokemon inside is happy too. I'm sure of it. Keep that egg with you in your party for your Pokemon. The Pokemon will hatch from uh, from it from it while you're traveling. I would be happy to know it will be help you uh, fill another page of your Pokedex. See you again. Okay, so we got another Pokemon, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, take care of this business right here. So the man that you just saved, he's gonna be like, "Thanks for rescuing me. This is something uh, to show my thanks." And it's the latest model bicycle. You must take it, I insist. And there we go, we get ourselves the bicycle. Right here, it's the latest model, so I, I'll read the op operating manual to you. Press B to shift up or down. The third gear, you can't go all uh, you can't go all that fast, but it's easier to control. In fourth gear, it is harder to steer a and stop, but it's really fast, really. Okay, so there you go, guys. We got ourselves an, a much needed item. Now, I kind of feel like we need to take care of something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious about this. I, I, I am feeling sick to my stomach about this. And let's go right ahead and take a look at this. So here is the mysterious egg received from Cynthia herself, our love child. Yes. It appears to move occasionally. It may be close to hatching. So knowing me, I'm probably going to be hatching it like in the next episode just because of how fast we go. Now, yeah, let's go. Let's see. Let's go right here, because we kind of need to finish it off, and nope, not right there, for cycles. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's going to be like, Draven, long time no see. Oh, you look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. I'm Professor Rowan's assistant and Don's father. I've come a long way to help you on your adventure to the professor's uh, behest. Draven, let me ask you, how many Pokemon have you met? Oh my, you met 57 Pokemon. 
Wonderful. Yes, bravo. Professor Rowan would be delighted. Here's something for you. We get ourselves the experience share. Finally, something useful. Anywho. I was completely wrong. All right, so we're going to stop it right here, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the cycling road and doing uh, quite a few things there. So I would, I, would keep that, I would keep your eyes peeled for all that stuff. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching, for being patient as always, for being as supportive as can be. And, uh, yeah, if you guys want to support the channel, buy some merch and all that stuff, I got a merch store down there. Go ahead, pick something. If you guys have any suggestions for any kind of merch that you would like to see right there, just comment down below, and then, bam, we will have it. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.